All right, Jesus is Lord. The Word works, but we've got to work it. And I told you yesterday, the problem is the average believer, I'm talking about Bible believing, tape listening to, turned on to God, believing Christian, don't meditate in the Word more than a few minutes a day. My son, attend to my word. That means make it first place in your life. When you rise in the morning, Deuteronomy chapter 6, when you go to bed at night, when you walk by the way, meditate in the word. In other words, plant the word a whole lot more than you do evening news and all that other stuff that we have a tendency to like to do. So here's what I'm getting at. I took that word concerning healing. I wrote out two pages of scriptures. I found verses that had to do with my leg. I meditated on that. I kept planting that seed until the seed of the Word of God was bigger than what the devil was telling me in my mind. It was bigger than what the pain was, which was excruciating in my leg. It was bigger than any of the problems that I was having. And I, I began to see the Word from the Word standpoint. Then after I did that for several days, about a week, I guess, all right, my faith is up. This is the only way faith comes, by hearing. And by hearing by the Word of God. It doesn't come by hearing this good testimony. It doesn't come by seeing somebody else's miracle. Somebody said, well, you know, if the Lord had healed Uncle So-and-So, it'd be a great testimony. Yeah, but Uncle So-and-So needs to be healed because the Word says he's healed because God loves him not to give everybody a great testimony. So I, wouldn't, I didn't care about what was going on. And, and I got to tell you this. I was a pastor of the church, a very successful church. I was traveling all over the place, you know, got my own airplane, flying to Honduras, Cuba, and all these places. Well, I can't fly an airplane. You got to have your legs. I couldn't even drive my car. Pat was having to take me every place, and I'm walking with a cane. But I'm meditating on the Word because I know the Word is more powerful than the pain or the circumstances or anything else. Now watch. I'm going here. So I got that till. Man, I just felt it. Now, I don't like the word feeling, but boy, faith was in there, man. It was, my words got in line and I, I began to feel it. So then I decided, okay, I'm going to pray. Now watch, this is how you pray after you planted the seed. I'm talking about harvesting the crop. So I went to the Lord, took all of my scriptures, meditated all morning that day, thought about it for, you know, a while. And then I said, all right, it's time. So I sat down and I said, Father, I'm coming to you today in the name of Jesus. You pray in the name of Jesus based on the promises of your word, not based on my need. Need, uh, yeah, had one, yes. Not based on the pain, based on the promises of God's word. So Father, I come to you today expecting healing based on the fact that I am the redeemed and you love me. It doesn't have anything to do with my past. Doesn't have anything to do with what I need. I got a hold of that in Mark chapter 5 years ago. Jesus left the multitude where the needs were to go with the one that had faith. So I'm sitting here in my house. I'm looking at my house. I'm sitting here in my house. And so I'm saying to the Lord, um, I believe that I received. So I went to the Lord. I said, okay, Father, based on the word, you paid the price for my healing. Jesus bore my sicknesses for my healing. I visualized the fact that Jesus bore my pain and carried my pain, particularly in his knees and legs when he was nailed to the tree. I visualized that. So I said, Father, based on your word, I believe that I'm healed. So I come to you today <clears throat> based on the word, not my pain, not my feelings, not my need. Based on the word, you said, ask anything. I desire physical healing by the power of God, not by going to the doctor, not doing all that other stuff. So I, I believe that. And I said, Father, I receive it now in Jesus' name. Now, when you pray, you believe that you receive. So I didn't ever pray about it again. I'm talking never prayed about it again. I prayed one time, and I believed it, and I received it in Jesus' name. Then from that day on, all I would do was praise. <laughs> All I'd do is thank God. I'd get up in the morning, oh, pain was worse. And I'd say, thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. I believed that I received yesterday when I prayed. And I just want to praise you. I want to thank you that healing has come on my body. And, you know, I had to go somewhere that day. And I thought, man, how am I going? I can't even get out of the house. But praise God. Praise God. I believe that I received when I prayed. Praise God I'm healed. And I praised God. And I said, okay, now corresponding actions. I'm going to do the best I can. I hobbled out of the house, forced myself to get in my pickup truck, which, you know, they're all pretty high up. I got in the truck. I drove there, corresponding actions. And the whole way there, I'm driving with my left leg rather than my right leg because I got it stretched out over there because I'm still in pain. But I said, I want to 
praise you, Father, that both of my legs work perfectly. I want to thank you that I can walk a mile a day like I do uh, all the time. I want to thank you and praise you that my body's well. I want to thank you that Jesus bore the sicknesses and carried my pains. He was smitten uh, and carried my pain. I want to thank you that with his stripes I was healed, and I want to thank you that I'm not smitten in the needs, and I want to thank you that you've given me back the strength of a young man, and I'm walking, and I'm not growing faint, and I'm running and not being weary, and you are the strength of my back. And I begin to praise, praise, praise. Days, just days of praising and praising and praising, and that's all I'd say. And somebody would say, no, uh, you, you look like you're uh, praising God. That's what I'd say. That before I'd let them get that word out, I'd say, I'm praising God. And I'm, I'm healed in the name of Jesus. Somebody would, would say to me, boy, you, you look like you're excruciating in pain. Nope, nope, I'm healed. Jesus bore my pain. Jesus bore my sicknesses. Glory be to God, I'm healed. And I begin to praise, 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 praise. I'd still go to those scriptures every day. I'd still plant, uh, plant the seed of the word every day because the faith is in the word. But I begin to praise after I prayed. And I got to go, got to tell you some more good stuff about this tomorrow, saints. But hey! Have a great day. Walk in divine health. Till I'm with you tomorrow, remember, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.